Yeah. Sorry, doubt. We went offline, and we are back. Please refresh the browser. Yes, Doc. Sorry, shortly we were uh, uh, we went offline. Yeah, I hope. Uh, yes, I hope we are all broadcasting all right so just uh, reinforcing what we missed is where do we find j shaped senna it is typically seen in optic glioma optic glioma so this is a scaphocephalic skull with the enlargement of the diplo thickening of the diplo with a j shaped senna so this is one more example of a J-shaped cella, J-shaped cella. Uh, Shweta is asking, sir, do we see J-shaped cella tarshika in mucopolysaccharidosis also? I'm not very sure. Uh, you need to check it and update me, Shweta. So, <clears throat> But one thing is there, it is also called omega shaped, shoe shaped, hourglass cella and it is glioma of the optic chasma, optic chasma. Now, what is the dye that we use for myelography doctor, myelography? We use myodil, myodil. Now, this is another batti marne wala matter hai doctor, be very sure on this. Yeah. CT scan. Metrizamide, which is a water soluble organic iodide media. Gastrographin, which is a high osmolarity contrast agent. Then myelography, ventriculography, and digital substraction angiography may. We use iopamidol. Iopamidol. Ioc, Hexol, Meglumine, Meglumine Gohi, Conrad 280 bolte hai. Metrizamide, they are all used. In MRI, what do we use? Gadolinum DTPA is the one which is used in case of the MRI, is what you need to remember. Then bronchography me, Dionosil, it is a low osmolar contrast. Like, like uh, Iohexol is the one which we use. Then uh, intraspilography may we use diet triose, diet acid, which is a high osmolarity agent. 
so these are some of the funda about the contrast agents which you have to get very sure about doc now earliest diagnosis of cerebral infarct how do you get earliest evidence we use diffusion weighted mri for that purpose so doctor this is a t2 image this is a flare image how will you identify this is t2 very simple if the csf is white it is t2 if the csf is black it is t1 easy to remember mujhe black and white mein batao bol ke puchte hain log bhai mujhe black and white mein batao bol ke puchte hain so t2 weighted images are typically white csf black will be t1 weighted images is what you need to remember now doc this is called a fluid attenuation image flare image which can be able to detect even something that you may miss on the regular t1 t2 and this is called diffusion weighted image this is called perfusion weighted image so typically in case of the hyper acute stroke in a very early stage very sensitively it is the diffusion weighted image which can be able to detect even though the other forms of the uh, mri cannot be able to detect is what you need to remember so fluid attenuation inversion recovery imaging is flare imaging as all of you know very well acha bhaiya favorite question dawson figure dawson finger where do we see dawson finger dawson finger is seen in multiple sclerosis dekho a corpus callosum hai na corpus callosum so corpus callosum ke upar yahan aapko dikh rahe the demyelinating plaques they are called dawson's finger in case of multiple sclerosis now you should ask me one question what is that sir ye infarct bhi ho sakta na this can even be infarction of the corpus callosum why not bolke puch sakte but mere pyare need pg vasio corpus callosum has such an extensive vascular supply that it is very unlikely that the corpus callosum will ever suffer infarction that is the creation of the god corpus callosum at most can only undergo demyelination so that's a point so what is the investigation of choice to detect subdural hemorrhage doctor subdural hemorrhage it is the non contrast city not contrast city non contrast city so non contrast city may this type of a lumbar bleed because this is what type of bleed doctor it is a venous bleeding right venous bleeding often it presents like a dementia if it is a chronic uh, venous bleed is what you need to remember a person sustained head injury ct brain was shown and tomorrow examiner will give you either extradural subdural or a subarachnoid hemorrhage or a dural sinus venous thrombus one of this four other नीट पीजी पेपर में नहीं है तो मेरा नाम मुरली भरद्वाज नहीं है ठीक है नाउ रेडियोथेरेपी व्हाट इज दिस गैजेट एवरीथिंग लुक्स फॉर इज लाइक एन एमआरआई मशीन और सीटी मशीन सो एक्सटर्नल रेडिएशन थेरेपी टेली थेरेपी इट इज मोस्ट कॉमन काइंड ऑफ रेडिएशन थेरेपी cobalt 60 isocentric teletherapy machine cobalt 60 is the one which is used the source axis distance is 80 cm 30 cm scale manu mein hai uska almost three times now one of the favorite questions 
what are those radionuclides which are used in brachytherapy? Cesium, iridium, radium, gold, iodine, palladium. Right? So many times I used to wonder, Itna chemistry padte hai hum, MBBS entrance mein, MBBS mein enter hone ke liye. I still remember uh, those wonderful days. Entire periodic table we used to recite. Scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, ferrous, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc. First group of transition elements. We used to make people feel uh, sad. Itna kaise yaad rehta hai inko? So, they are never used in medical college. So passionately we used to study physics. I still remember in uh, 12th class, we wrote uh, a solution to Iridau. Iridau is a very big uh, time uh, physics book. Iridau, Problems in Physics. Resnick Halliday also used to be a beautiful book. So we wrote uh, a solution book. I still have that book with me. Iridau is one of the top physics book. So physics so passionately we used to study that Arrayway medicine may seat may I to be physics teacher banenge So that's the kind of passion we used to have So doctor everything is all about That short period of time A sub cheese A are of no use for you tomorrow when you become dermatologist But still for entrance exam you should think You are all 19 subjects ka specialist Then only you can read it so brachytherapy may use of intracavitary, interstitial, surface brachytherapy. Where do we use surface brachytherapy, doctor? Skin tumors, eye tumors, breast tumors, which is on surface. Interstitial, we use it in bladder and oral cavity where you will directly insert the seed. Then intracavitary. Uterus, urinary bladder, antrum, bronchial, esophageal treatment. And what are the radionuclides that you use in brachytherapy? Examiner's favorite question, fatafit to bolo, cesium, iridium, gold, iodine, 125. Often brachy is combined with external radiotherapy. Now what are the advantages of brachy? Brachy is highly localized, deeper and adjacent tissues are spared. It has less side effects. It is curative in early cancers. But technically it is more difficult. You need to have a facility and local complication. Badan ke andar kuch dal rahe na. Isliye jera complications bhi ho sakta. Then what are the radio nucleus for teletherapy? Right? This is the main thing. Examiner ka pura Rona is ke upar rehta hai. Cobalt 60. Cobalt 60. Cesium 137. Two radionuclides you should remember for teletherapy. The half life of cobalt is 5.26 years. Cesium 137 ka 30 years. And the beta particles which are electrons are absorbed in the source capsule. So that is the story of teletherapy. So, exam ke liye kuch cheeze, you have to tuck in your nostrils and sneeze it in the exam hall. Aisa cheeze hai ye, pura. Right? Now, how many gray, centigrade brain can tolerate? 6,000. Spinal cord can tolerate 4,500 centigrade. Now, doctor, colon cut off sign. Where do we see doctor? Colon cut off sign. We see it in case of pancreatitis. So typically, colon aapko dikta hai, dikta hai, dikta hai, suddenly band ho jata hai. Acute pancreatitis me. So in acute pancreatitis, what is this called? Sentinel loop. A sentinel loop is a localized segment of the gas filled dilated small bubble adjacent to acute inflammation Aapka pancreas kaise chalta, aisa chalta So adjacent to that inflamed area 
typically a gaseous loop of bubble become dilated which is called sentinel sentinel bole to ye loop ko dekh ke aap sochna ki acha iske piche kya hai loop ke piche kya hai loop ke piche tail hai pancreas ka iska inflammation ho gaya so that is what you need to remember so now this is a classical thing ascending colon showing gas transverse colon showing gas suddenly yahan aake ruk gaya descending colon ka gas nahi dikh raha hai so this is called colon cut off sign colon cut off sign so in abdominal radiograph abrupt termination at the splenic flexure at the level of the splenic flexure abrupt termination of the gaseous shadow is called as colon cut off sign is fortunate to remember pet me dard hai doctor saab pura raat daru piya aur subah subah kitna pet me dard hai doctor saab bol ke aaya aapke paas unka bhi laya so kya soche aap possibility of acute pancreatitis most common cause kya hota alcohol followed by any gallstone you need to remember so if you do ultrasound you will discover the presence of an edematous bulky pancreas and if you happen to do the ct ct is the best investigation because you can be able to grade the severity of the acute pancreatitis by doing the ct scan is what you need to remember so you can see whether there is any pancreatic necrosis peri pancreatic fluid collection all these things you are going to see ha ah, remember need to pg hote hi md radiology lena ya md general medicine lena kya sochna girlfriend bol rahe hai how oh, darling i cannot leave you by evening i need to have you you know i just want to i just married you because you're a cool guy oh, okay because because the girlfriend said you took md radiology thinking it is a very cool branch yeah definitely it is a cool branch no doubt about it but you need to have that your eye should have the ability to catch right and make the shadow speak then if you have that and you don't regret in your life that uh, the only person with whom you talk is your girlfriend and wife you can't talk with patients agar wo guilt feeling nahi aana chahiye right but you are a very people guy general medicine any day hamare jaise baatein karte karte pura 50 years zindagi khatam kar sakte aap md banne ke baad what is colon cut off sign abrupt termination is what you need to remember so what lead to colon cut off sign typically acute pancreatitis is most common total colonic obstruction because of the malignancy even malignancy can cause a colon cut off sign that's what you need to remember chain of legs appearance where do we see doc chronic pancreatitis as today only we discussed a dilated common bile duct with a stone inside it chain of leg appearance with the cicatrization dilatation cicatrization dilatation that is what you typically see now to detect a 4 mm nodule in pancreas what is the best investigation doctor endoscopic ultrasound is the wonderful investigation generally contrast enhanced ct is accepted as the first line investigation whenever you are suspecting pancreatic cancer see ct then small tumors if you want to detect them and stage them endoscopic ultrasound is good because it can detect the tumors as small as 2 cm is yes, what you need to remember now what is the investigation of choice if you want to detect the splenic remnant splenectomy khatam ho gaya right post splenectomy if you want to detect small remnant of the spleen gallium 67 scan is what you need to remember 
so this is how radio nucleides can can help you to catch a small hidden thing in the pandora box but it's very sensitive that hypersensitivity of it is a challenging thing so gallium 67 where can it localize doctor what are all the tissues liver highest uptake of gallium 67 bone marrow spleen salivary gland nasopharynx lacrimal gland breast kidneys and bladder they are the locations where gallium 67 can get concentrated on radiography widened duodenal c loop with a irregular mucosal pattern is being found on the upper gi barium what does it indicate so you all know our basic biology teacher what he used to draw esophagus bachcho ye stomach hota hai stomach se duodenum nikalta hai first part second part third part fourth part duodenum and it will continue as jejunum ileum vagera 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 तो ये डिओडिनम के लूप है ना डॉक्टर यहां हेड ऑफ द पैंड्रियास बैठ के इट विल एक्सटेंड टू द लेफ्ट साइड वेयर यू आर हैविंग द स्प्लीन राइट सो एनी हेड ऑफ द पैंड्रियास व्हाट विल इट डू इट विल मेक दिस सी लूप बिकम डाइलेटेड एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रेशर 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 व्हाट विल हैपन द म्यूकोसा बिकम अल्टर्ड so irregular mucosal pattern of the duodenum with the widening of the duodenal c loop is a feature of carcinoma head of the pancreas then one more important thing antral pad sign is another thing in case of the carcinoma pancreas so typically what will happen the stomach the stomach antrum become indented in the posto inferior aspect that is another important feature so widening of the celu antral pad sign so this is called widening of the celu and the stomach typically is indented so the antral pad sign they are the classical features in case of the uh carcinoma of pancreas now doctor a 60 year old man history of 30 years of intake of alcohol comes with pain abdomen ct was done what are the most probable diagnosis ct was shown but ct was shown so you are able to see one of the complications of the pancreatitis isko kya bolte hain doctor pseudo cyst of pancreas if it is a significantly large pseudo cyst you can pass a endoscope you can come into the stomach and from the stomach you can be able to tunnel into it and drain it into the stomach is ko kya bolte cysto gastrostomy is what you need to remember so these are the calcifications which are being found in the case of the pseudo cyst now doctor what are you seeing this head this head compare the two or is there a difference is there a difference come on keep punching doctor you're all top future radiologists sitting over there so <clears throat> is there any difference between the two sides are they looking same अर्जुन देख के बोलो पंची की आंक कहा है ताकि तुम तीर चला सकते द्रोणाचार्य के दिनों में वेरी गुड प्रियंका इज रिसीविंग अर्जुन अवार्ड फॉर द नीट पीजी ए वैस्कुलर नेक क्रॉसेस ब्यूटीफुल डॉक्टर आप तो माहिर बन गए प्रिपरेशन में एनदर हफ्ते में एंट्रेंस बोले तो तीर कैसे चलाना आप तो तलवार के तार के जैसे चमक रहे बढ़िया वैसे ही रहना 
Everything is confidence, doctor. Everything is confidence. Confidence, common sense, cool poise. This is what you need to carry for the tomorrow's exam. So dead bone is seen in avascular necrosis, Perthes disease, TB, osteomyelitis, usually more opaque. More opaque is what you need to remember. For which tumor? Radiotherapy is the treatment of choice, which is highly radiosensitive. Team cheese. Having seminoma, dysgerminoma in case of the girls, seminoma in men, and having these three doctors, they are known for their radio sensitivity. So, doctor comes the favorite list. Kalke exam me, ehi question puchega. So, last week only we discussed Bolke Bolega, Baharane Kebar. Velma Chomer, Vilma Bakke Madal, Velma remember Karo. Right? So, Vilma Chomer, Evans Chomer, Lymphoma, Malignant Myeloma, Myeloma, and uh, Seminoma. Wilma, having the lymphoma, malignant myeloma, seminoma, 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 highly radio sensitive is what you need to remember. So, having is very radio sensitive. Epiphyseal dysgenesis is pathognomonic feature of. But yeah, yeah pathognomonic is most common investigation of choice. Earliest finding, first investigation to be done. Bah, another one week, doctor. By the way, हम सब माउंट एवरेस्ट पर हाइकिंग के लिए जाएंगे ठीक है हाँ सो हाइपोपैराथायरोडिज्म क्लासिकली सीन इन हाइपोपैराथायरोडिज्म सो टिपिकली डॉक्टर इन हाइपोपैराथायरोडिज्म व्हाट डू वी सी देयर कैन बी शॉर्टनिंग ऑफ द फोर्थ मेटाकार्पल Shortening of fourth metacarpal, soft tissue calcification, basal ganglia calcification, calvarial thickening, short metatarsals and phalanges, premature closure of epiphysis. Then all the features of the hypoparathyroidism is what you need to remember. Abba, Lily, Aisa, Matpocho, Myeloma and Melanoma. <laughs> Lily, you are silly. Myeloma ka hai, myeloma ka hai. What's the difference, Bolito? You mean radio sensitivity? Did I understand the question rightly? If you ask me what is the difference between nevus and malignant melanoma, I can understand. What is the difference between MGUS, monoclonal gamopathy of unknown significance and multiple myeloma, Bolito, I can understand. But don't tell me, myeloma and melanoma ke bich mein kya hai? Spelling difference hai. Ha. Osteosclerotic bone metastasis, where do you find? Osteosclerotic bone metastasis, prostate. But doctor, kal ke exam mein, achha achha, in radiological view. Shama karo, shama karo. Mane search rao, otherwise what is the difference? Dekho, Alek said we, टेंशन में चले गया। डिफरेंस बिटवीन माइलोमा एंड कोई बोला कि पार्किंसोनिज्म और वुल्फ पार्किंसोनिज्म के बीच में कुछ फर्क है क्या? हाँ हाँ। सो डॉक्टर, दिस इज़ अ क्लासिकल रेडियोग्राफ़ ऑफ़ ऑस्टियोस्क्लेरोटिक मेटास्टेसिस। दैट इज़ व्हाट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर। व्हाट इज़ दिस कंडीशन in the figure, one of the favorite questions of the examiner. So, doctor, the X-ray is showing typical genuvarum, genuvarum, not valgum, varum. In case of the cats, is what you need to remember. Very good. Once more, doctor, genuvarum, genuvarum. What are the five causes here? Five causes there. Favorite question. Our jo shoe lagate hain, outer boundaries. Increase or inner border is increased in the shoe. All this funda in uh, orthopedics, you have to be very good with doctor. 
Now, now, now the next question. 50 year old male, fatigue, recurrent upper respiratory infection, anemia, hypercalcemia, elevated urine protein, x-ray is showing this kind of uh, lucent lesions, right? Defects, bony defects, calvarial defects, that is multiple myeloma. High ESR, severe body pains, anemia, elderly lady, if you don't know about multiple myeloma, you don't have to worry about it. You are not a student. Now, Dr. CD scan. What is the investigation of choice for a neuroangiofibroma? Is the favorite question. Contrast enhanced CT scan. This is a contrast enhanced CT scan to the investigation of choice for neuroangiofibroma. This is called juvenile, juvenile neuroangiofibroma. This is important. How does it present? Epistaxis, bleeding, bleeding, bleeding from the nose. Epistaxis. Only boys, only boys can bleed from the nose because they can't bleed from anywhere else. So, juvenile angiofibroma is epistaxis, only boys. And CT angio is the one which is basically used. Favorite question. Correct. CT scan was invented by Kuch inventors, discoverers. Oscar Award winners, everything, oh sorry, Nobel Prize winners. Geoffrey Hounsfield, hey Mr. Geoffrey Hounsfield. In ke jamane mein meet peji kaha hai bhai, agar hai to, he would have never got an idea about how to discover CT scan. In ke jamane mein, jao kuch bhi branch le lo. So Geoffrey Hounsfield sahab ne CT scan ko discover kiya. The size of the liver metastasis that can be detected by CCT 5 millimeters. It is not 10, it is not 15, it is not 20. Opcom, opcom, opcom. We don't accept, we don't accept, we don't accept if you don't give the right answer. Right? So, Dr. CCT can detect a size up to 5 millimeters. But if it is less than centimeter, then PET is a better alternative to detect the liver mets is what you need to remember. Five digits, five mm. Subtle liver mets. Subtle liver mets. Mother of PET scan is prominently the Subcentimetric metastasis to the liver is better detected by PET scan is what you need to remember. I say, Samai bitate hue hum pura din bhajin karte baidenge kya? Huh? I think if 75 wonderful guys across the country are attending means a teacher like me can continue to discuss the subject till night 10 o'clock, night 12 o'clock. एक दिन करेंगे क्या? पूरा दिन करेंगे? One one day morning twenty four hours Guinness book में enter होए हो जाएंगे। What do you say guys? Wonderful guys like you are there means a teacher like me. It is like an adrenaline push to spend पूरा दिन with you guys doctor. Now now doctor. What is the investigation of choice for fat embolism, CT scan? Even for pulmonary embolism, CT scan. So doctor, this is the main pulmonary artery that is dividing into left and right. And typically what happened? This wedge shaped thrombus arche by the gap. This is pulmonary embolism. And what is this structure? Iota, this is SVC. Only three things, no doctor. SVC taking blood to where? Right atrium. Iota coming from left ventricle. Pulmonary artery coming from right ventricle. Only missing is pulmonary vein. Right? Huh. 
सो टिपिकली अयोटा इज वॉट आर्च ऑफ अयोटा एक अयोटा एक अयोटा इन आर्च सेंडिंग एंड डिसेंडिंग अयोटा दट इज वॉट यू नीड टू बेसिकली ट्राइफर प्रीतम इज से गिन्नेस रिकॉर्ड हो जाएगा सर लेट एस गो फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स पूरा दिन डिस्कस करेंगे बट बाद में आपको सीख नहीं मिले तो मेरा जिम्मेदारी नहीं है मेरे पास मेरे साथ बिताए हाँ पूरा सुबह से शाम तक विल डू आई मीन एटलीस्ट विल हैव लिट यू लॉन्ग सेशन वन ऑफ द डे सो दैट विल एंजॉय स्पेंडिंग ए गुड टाइम नाउ डॉक्टर Spiral CT pulmonary angiogram is the investigation of choice in case of fat embolism. And chest X-ray will show snowstorm appearance. And uh, if you are suspecting fat embolism, if you are suspecting fat embolism, what is the another very good way? Urine sample may doctor. Urine sample may. fat globules is uh, the thing that will help you to make the diagnosis now once more doctor pulmonary emboli i mean fat embolism ka criteria bhulna nahi major minor criteria jabra patti banne wala area hai subconjunctival petechiae hypoxemia cns depression disproportionate to the amount of hypoxemia and presence of pulmonary edema right gillard criteria na oh oh i don't know is it it's called what gillard criteria okay then what are the minor criteria of fat embolism tachycardia pyrexia retina may emboli fat in the urine sudden inexplicable drop in the hematocrit increasing esr fat globules in the sputum they are all the important indicators so a fmg exam ka december 2019 ka questions dekha doctor maine aapko yaad hai हमने एफ एम जी का ऑफ्टलमोलॉजी और ऑर्थोपेडिक्स डिस्कस किया अक्टूबर में पूरा दिन बैठ के फुल डे डिस्कस किए थे उस दिन उस दिनों में ऑल क्वेश्चंस दैट वी डिस्कस इट केम ऑल फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन डिटो डिटो केम इवन इन द डिसंबर 2019 सो एक्चुअली देर इज नो वंडर अबाउट इट डॉक्टर बिकॉज एग्जाम ऑल्सो हैज इज ओन लिमिटेशन ना suddenly he will not bring uh, from uh, alien planet uh, some uh, unknown questions right so 953 topics ko focused way agar aap revision kare 30000 mcqs ka ek vart mein review kare online mbps.com video library pe koi shakti duniya mein aapko rukega nahi topper banne ke liye right just to spend 400 hours of your time with dr murli bharadwaj doctor tell your juniors they don't need anything else only they need dr murli bharadwaj and uh, january to november 30th almost every day two hours we do the discussion 500 hours of live session then we also have every sunday grand test every saturday subject test and discussion and december 1st to january 4th every day one grand test and discussion to consolidate the preparation that is all our long term uh, goal so you can ask them to join for and subscribe to online mbbs.com video library now doctor distal acoustic shadow where do we see distal acoustic shadow Air calculate bone. Anything can throw a shadow. You are able to see the shadow, right, doc? So anything can throw a shadow. Minimal SITS ko detect karna hai to ultrasound is best. So you you are able to see liver, gallbladder, liver ke baju me kya hai? This is all SITS fluid. Minimal SITS ke liye. Frog eye appearance. 
when you see enencephaly. So, doctor, this is called frog's eye appearance. A large nose, frog eye appearance in enencephaly. It is also called Mickey Mouse appearance. Right? Now, even ultrasound, you can identify that frog mouse appearance, frog face, eye appearance can be detected even if you do ultrasound also. Right? Now, the renal vein and IVC thrombosis scale, what is the best investigation? Color Doppler. So, doctor, this is the typical color Doppler. What is the color Doppler? What do you see in color Doppler? Loss of pulsatility. Loss of pulsatility. If there is a thrombus in the vein, no? Proximal to that, if you happen to press and then do the Doppler, loss of pulsatility is the feature suggestive of uh, presence of a clot, doctor. Clot. Now, what is the best investigation to look at the block of atherosclerosis? Intravascular ultrasound. So, all these cardiologists are becoming uh, interventionist, interventionalists. So, if you happen to pass ultrasound inside the blood vessel, you can be able to detect the presence of uh, the uh, block of atherosclerosis. Now, doctor, uh, what is this machine? This is called linear accelerator. What is the importance of linear accelerator? You see, it's called beta tron. It produces X rays by accelerating electrons. Cyclotron produces gamma rays. That is what you need to remember. So the rays which are used in radiotherapy belong to two broad types, low and high, linear energy transfer, X-rays, gamma rays, beta rays, electrons, low, alpha particles, neutrons, protons, heavy ions are called high linear energy transfer is what you should remember the list. If you want to detect bronchiectasis, tell me doc, bronchiectasis ka clinical history kaise reta? I used to have a patient, eh? Rama Rao girl. Rama Rao used to be my patient, very nice patient. He is a farmer from Ongol. So, he married his uh, mama's daughter, Anna Purna was my patient name. I still remember the wonderful couple, Anna Purna. Anna Purna is his uh, mother's brother's daughter. So, mama's daughter, such a loving uh, husband he is, he used to have about 40 acres land, very rich man, but uh, very, of course, his mama's only daughter and he married and mama left all that property to him, that's a different story. So, from school days I used to have crush on Annapurna. He used to say, this Ramarao guy. But doctor, from childhood she used to cough, 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 cough and produce cups and cups and cups of sputum. Still I married because I love her. So love is not only blind, it does not have a nose, it does not have anything, right? Of course it has 40 acres of land, fertile land. He produced four children, three became doctors, they went to America. Huh? So successful couple. So, but the typical history I can never forget in bronchiectasis. First case of bronchiectasis when I joined MD. Cups and cups and cups and cups of sputum. So, by the time I used to go to ward rounds, eh, he used to nicely do the combing of her long hair. Eh? So, of Annapurna. So, doctor, bronchiectasis presents with uh, copious sputum and HRCT, high resolution CT may, you can see the ectatic bronchi, bronchiectasis. 
Now there is a bronchial wall thickening with minimal central cylindrical bronchiectasis. Now one more thing, signet ring sign on CT. This thickening, right? it looks like a signet ring. Signet ring, wedding ring. Signet ring sign, bronchiectasis. Now, doctor, cartwheel appearance on ultrasound. Where do you see? In case of hydrated cyst, in case of hydrated cyst, cartwheel appearance, classical feature in case of hydrated cyst. So, what are the signs of hydrated cyst, doctor? It can a carcass lead to it, meniscus, crescent, double arch sign, floating membrane sign, cartwheel appearance, then water lily sign, serpent sign, but no calcification in lung. Favorite MCQ. Kalk exam is Jarur Puchega examiner. Right? This is one question examiner is waiting to ask you. Does hydatocyst calcify in the lung? Your emphatically correct answer should be no, sir, no, sir, no calcification in the lung. Right? You'll remember me. Then what is this called as doctor? Virl sign. Virl, virl, virl. Virl sign it is called as. Uh, very good. Alex said, fills my uh, point. There is no persist in lung and brain, hence no calcification. Beautiful. So virl sign. CT scan shows floating detached membranes in the cystic cavity with minimal pleural effusion. And what is this called, doctor? It's by water lily. Kai vai. Water lily ko imagine karo bolta hai. Karna? This is water lily. Ye water lily aapko dikh rahe kya is mein? Dikh rahe hai? Agar dikh hai toh aap radiologist ke liye ka aatma hai aapke andar. Pela water lily dekho, baad mein floating membrane dekho, hydrated cyst ko yaad karo babu ji. Seat mil jayega. Now, solitary hypoechoic lesion in the liver with the septa and debris. Where do you see? In case of hydrated cyst. Cyst for sale. Cyst for sale. Simple liver cyst, liver abscess, hydrated cyst, hemangioma, Caroli disease. Anything can cause the cyst in the liver. Now, the question. Hydrated is mostly solitary. Caroli is only multiple. Then, any coic is simple liver cyst. Homogeneous, any coic or hypoechoic initially, then hyperechoic later. Then, heterogeneous, hypoechoic, hydrated cyst. Similarly, there are no septa in any of the cysts except in hydrated cyst only. Septa are there. Hence, cartwheel appearance is what you need to remember. There is no debris in case of simple liver cyst. Liver abscess has a debris. And there is a fine debris. Very fine debris. Girni me lagaye jaise lagta. Sand ke jaise. In case of hydrated cyst is what you need to remember. So this is a simple liver cyst. No debris. This is amoebic liver cyst. Amoebic liver cyst kya hota hai? Amoebia cyst mein. Uh, typically it is a liver abscess. Then, this is a hydrated cyst which is showing septations. Then this is a cavernous hemangioma which is showing hypointense mass in the right hepatic lobe. Then what is this? This is called Caroli disease. Multiple, multiple cysts are being found and fundamentally what is the problem? In this, there is a fusiform dilatation of the intrahepatic uh, biliary ducts and uh, biliary atresia is what you need to remember. 
Priyanka is saying, Sir, class on anesthesia before exam. Chalo, Priyanka. Priyanka puche to hum na bol sakte kya nahi bol sakte. So, humara Sureka ne bula hai. Humare biostatistics pada hai. Sri Lakshmi ne bula hum radiology pada hai. और प्रियंका ने बोला हम एनेस्थीशिया पढ़ेंगे कोई बात हमको कुछ भी काम नहीं है डॉक्टर एक ही काम है आपके साथ स्पेंड करना हमारा एक ही इच्छा है और आ, काम है राइट नो वरीज प्लीज श्वेता आल्सो इज सेइंग यस सर प्लीज टेक एनेस्थीशिया एक बार फटाफट रिवीजन करेंगे चलो व्हाई नॉट व्हाई नॉट बट यू शुड ऑल प्रॉमिस टू बी माय ब्रांड एंबेसडर्स to tell your juniors कहीं भी नहीं जाना मुदली सर के पास जाना और online MBBS में subscribe करना बोल के admission दिलाना so that is the Guru Dakshina from all of you right doc so and don't tell anybody that मुदली सर is free I'm not free I'm not commercial I am completely पक्का commercial one of my friend Ram Kishan he used to say मुदली is पक्का commercial so definitely I am uh, I mean we need to run an organization give employment to people and the people work for us so that is the reason definitely we charge a little fee uh, no doubt about but we are affordably commercial responsibly commercial koi student bola sir I can't pay sir please but I want to join you sir definitely how about it job join no job if I give free it will develop and come back to me so that is always I believe whether treating patients or teaching students right doc definitely so water lily appearance where do we see we see in case of hydrated cyst is what you should remember now doctor the drug which is being administered to increase the diagnostic accuracy of the HIDA scan this is a beautiful question phenobarbital so you should remember Phenobarbital increase the bile production and it is used in neonatal jaundice. Morphine contracts the sphincter of body used in sphincter of body dysfunction, even amylitrate also. Cholecystokinin increase the bile flow, gallbladder contraction, relaxation of the sphincter of body. It is used for diagnostically in acalyclus cholecystitis is what you need to remember. Pentagastrin glucagon are used in the radionuclide imaging of Meckel's diverticula to improve and detect the ectopic gastric mucosa. Similarly, pentagastrin stimulated calcitonin test. We use it in medullary carcinoma of the thyroid. These are all very hot, 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 fuming single liner MCQs of the examiner. Entrapment neuropathy. Entrapment neuropathy. Two days say my elbow is uh, really paining. I was thinking why this is paining, why this is paining. Then uh, suddenly I remembered of late I am writing a lot and uh, working too much on computer to prepare for the class. That's the reason we need to also do physical exercise doctor. Very important to remain fit. Fitness is healthiness. So you are studying in reading room means sir. Jara jao, titi kelo, do rounds, sweat. Then come back to reading room and study. Similarly go and play a couple of overs of cricket. Evening gully wala cricket and then come and study. Instead of being sedentary and stagnant. So doctor, this is a MRI which is showing you Tibial nerve entrapment near the popliteal. So, investigation of choice for the entrapment neuropathy hota hai. MRI is what you need to basically uh, remember. Now, doctor, a patient is suspected to have vestibular schwannoma. What is the investigation of choice, doctor? Gadolinum enhanced MRI. So this is how gadolinum contrast enhancement will be there in order to detect the schwannoma. Now, doctor, PET scan may, what do we use as tracer? 
we use FDG. So this is the PET scan doctor. PET scan, PET scan, PET scan, PET scan. So it is the fluorine 18 deoxy glucose labeled with fluorine 18 FDG is the one which is used in PET scan is what you need to remember. If you want to differentiate, very common question, tumor recurrence from radiation necrosis. Kisi ko tumor hai and you have given radiotherapy. Then you found a lesion. Is it a recurrence of it or because of your radiotherapy is there any necrosis? How do you differentiate? PET scan once more. It is the one which is used for therapeutic monitoring after the radiotherapy in order to differentiate between radiation necrosis and the tumor recurrence. Now comes the paranasal sinuses. If there is a hyperattenuation on the CT with allergic mucin, what is that called? Allergic fungal sinusitis calia CT. So how does that uh, allergic mucin look like? It presents like a hyperattenuation in case of the CT is what you need to remember. Now, this is how doctor you can see. Typically, allergic fungal sinusitis may hyperattenuation is what you see all that allergic mucus. Now, uh, what are the criteria for you to call allergic fungal sinusitis? Very important. There should be a polypus lesion and allergic mucin containing charcot laden crystals, positive skin test to fungal allergens, and central hyperattenuation within the sinus. These are the features of allergic fungal sinusitis, is what you need to remember. If there is a recurrent sinusitis, what will ENT surgeon will ask you? Jo ek CT scan karke lao. So, usme kya dikhaega? Aapko a inflamed sinuses are typically seen classically in case of recurrent sinusitis on CT scan. Hence, it is the investigation of choice. Now, which is not seen in the coronal CT paranatal sinus. Coronal image liye to aapko osteomiatal complex orbit sinus cavity sab kuch dikhaega magar fronto ecmoid recess nahi dikhaega so this is the brain doctor a hai orbit this is ethmoidal sinus this is osteomiatal complex and this is the maxillary sinus so you should be very sure to recognize all these things if there is an aortic aneurysm, what is the best investigation to diagnose an abdominal aortic aneurysm? Angiopascaro, CT Kefutamalelo, CT angiography is the investigation of choice. But yeah, aortic aneurysm. But one thing you should know, doctor, what is that? One thing you need to know. DYN day is rightly saying tennis ball appearance. But yeah. Now, doctor, elderly people, if you take, what is the common cause for the abdominal aortic aneurysm? Atherosclerosis. Elderly person completely asymptomatic for some other reason you have done ultrasound. You will discover grandpa, dada ji ke pet me. Aortic aneurysm. Uske liye kuch bhi nahi karna. Dada ji ko bolna hai, kya baat hai? Pet mein kuch hai? Phir bhi? Aap ghi, shakkar, sab khane mein to compromise nahi rehta dada ji ka. Right? So, uh, I still remember in uh, good old days, uh, uh, my grandpa's father's annual ceremony uh, so annual ceremony per uh, we, we used to conduct annual ceremony of my grandpa uh, 
in uh, way back 30 years back so on the belt of Godavari so my great grandfather used to be a Vedic scholar he used to run uh, a Vedic school used to go to Varnasi as an examiner uh, for um, assessment before giving a Vedic degree of Ganapati and all that so I uh, I still remember my grandfather even at the age of 80 he used to nicely eat everything uh, without any hesitation Aaj hum kaise hai? there are two bread pieces kai to tension aata hai where is the heterosclerotic flock where is the st segment elevation those days they used to eat like anything so atherosclerosis is the most common cause of the abdominal aortic aneurysm and it is most often asymptomatic and found as an incidental finding is what you need to basically remember so this is how you conduct a CT angiogram, CT angiogram, dual energy abdominal CT, DEXA scan in order to identify it. Now doctor, dissecting aortic aneurysm ko pakadne ke liye, what is the best investigation? Transesophageal echo. You can see aortic valve. Then in the ascending iota, you can see that dissection and dissecting flap that is creating a false lumen. That is what you can do with transesophageal echo, which is very sensitive. Now, a word on hyperparathyroidism. Salt, pepper, pot appearance. Where do we see? Hyperparathyroidism. So, doctor, this small, 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 you know, salt and pepper, uh, skull bolte. Subperiosteal resorption and thickness of the skull is typically increased in. This is called subperiosteal resorption, which is pathognomonic of hyperparathyroidism. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So thank you all for joining this uh, Radiology Thousand Pearls review and uh, enjoy a great preparation doctor, be happy, don't worry, you heard that song now, so happily padai karo, kuch saathiyon ke saath baith ke padai karo, mai bhi aapka saathi hoon, huh? so we will once more meet, if possible evening I will take one more class. Whenever I get time, I'll take a class. No worries. We are in the war. Next eight days, nine days, we are like in the battlefield, in the middle of the battlefield. So let us fight like a warrior, right? Thank you very much. Have a great day and uh, keep tuned and we will once more meet. Thank you.